Have you ever imagined someone who can see with their eyes closed? We've only heard of this in fiction, but it's not just fiction. It's the story of an Indian magician who could see even with his eyes covered by lumps of dough, thick swabs of cotton, and several layers of gauze. Join us as we introduce you to a man who could see without eyes. Kuda Baksh, also known as Kuda Bucks, was born in Kashmir in 1905. He was fascinated by magic after a performance by an Indian conjurer who went by the name of Professor Moore in 1918. Two days later, he ran away from home and followed Moore to Lahore to work as his assistant at the age of 13. In May 1935, he sailed to England where there was an appetite for magicians from the Eastern world. Bucks was famous for performing this cycling feat on streets of England and Europe in 1930s and 40s, with his eyes covered with lumps of dough, something he claimed he was able to do because he could see without eyes. He headlined his magic shows the man with X-ray eyes and would appear to perform a mind-boggling range of activities, including reading passages from books and threading a needle while covering his eyes in his signature style. In July 1935, Harry Price, renowned as Britain's leading ghost hunter, along with a group of medical professionals, decided to put Buck's claimed X-ray vision abilities to the test. According to Mr. John Zuberzitsky, the author of the book Empire of Enchantment, the story of Indian magic, Harry Price arrived equipped with surgical bandages, adhesive tape, pads of cotton wool, and a unique tie on mask. This mask was meticulously crafted, comprising two layers of heavy black cotton with a layer of cotton wool sandwiched in between. After Buck successfully read from a book with the bandaging on, a doctor redid his blindfold. Box was still able to read a handwritten note that was placed on a table behind his back. Thousands flocked to watch his shows, while the press labeled him the wonder of the century and the eighth wonder of the world. In September 1935, Bucks faced another test, this time arranged by Price himself, which further elevated his fame across England and Europe. Bucks showcased his firewalking feet marking the inaugural performance of its kind in England. Doctors, psychologists, and journalists were among the spectators, tasked with scrutinizing every detail of the act. They meticulously examined Bucks's feet, both before and after the walk, leaving no stone unturned to uncover any potential deception. A pit was dug and filled with logs of wood, charcoal, paraffin, and newspapers that were set on fire. Bucks walked across the glowing fire pit, not once, but four times. There was not a suspicion of a blister on his feet. This led Price to hypothesize that there was some obscure relationship between physical and mental forces that helps to make him immune from injury. In the interview with Dal, Bucks would claim that he survived fire walks by concentrating to such a degree that I see nothing but the fire, and the fire being cold. He claimed that this inner sense of sight also helped him perform his X-ray vision feats, and that he honed this sense by concentrating the conscious mind through exercises a yogi taught him when he was a teenager. Bucks died in 1981 in Los Angeles, California. He spent his last days playing cards at the Magic Castle with magicians, claimed they could beat Bucks only if he didn't put on his blindfold. Subscribe to Truth Revealed to stay intrigued and informed.